The Lord be with you. And also with you. Praise the Lord. Praise him, ye servants of the Lord. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be his name now and forever. Thank you. 
shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment and the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Let us confess our sins, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with our neighbor. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you, pardon your sins, and set you free from them, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua, chapter 3, beginning the seventh verse. The Lord said to Joshua, This day, I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, so that they may know that I will be with you as I was with Moses. You are the one who shall command the priests who bear the ark of the covenant. When you come to the edge of the waters, the Jordan, you shall stand still in the Jordan. Joshua then said to the Israelites, Draw near and hear the words of the Lord your God. Joshua said, by this you shall know that among you is the living God, who without fail will drive out from before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Hezerites, Gergeshites, Amorites, and Jebusites. The ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth is going to pass before you into the Jordan. 
So now, select 12 men from the tribes of Israel, one from each tribe, from the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, rest in the waters of the Jordan. The waters of the Jordan flowing from above shall be cut off. They shall stand in single feet. When the people set out from their tents to cross over the Jordan, the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant were in front of the people. Now the Jordan overflows all its banks throughout the time of harvest. So when those who bore the Ark had come to the Jordan, and the feet of the priests bearing the Ark were dipped in the edge of the water, the waters flowing from above stood still, rising up in a single heap far off at Adam, the city that is beside Zarephan. While those flowing towards the sea of Arabah, the Dead Sea, were wholly cut off. Then the people crossed over opposite Jericho. While all Israel were crossing over on the right ground, the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan until the entire nation finished crossing over the Jordan. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 2, beginning at the ninth verse. You remember our labor and toil, brothers and sisters. We work night and day so that we might not burden any of you while we proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and God also. How pure, upright, and blameless our conduct was towards you, believers. As you know, we dealt with each one of you like a father with his children, urging and encouraging you and pleading that you should lead, lead a life worthy of God, who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. We also constantly give thanks to God for this, that when you received the word of God that you heard from us, you accepted it not as a human word, but as what it really is, God's word, which is also at work in you believers. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen to the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew in chapter 5, beginning to read at the first verse. 
Now when he saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the gospel of Christ. Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. May the words of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of our hearts be about acceptable unto your God, our strength and our deliverer. Amen. 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 Thank you. On Thursday evening, all souls evening, we prayed a prayer for the absolution of the dead and the departed. And when something like absorb, we beseech you, O Lord, the souls of your servants from every point of sin that they may live again among thy saints and elect in the glory of the resurrection. That they may live with your saints and elect. Now there are basically two ways, one might say, of thinking about Christianity and sainthood. Two interlinked ways, not separate ways. The first is what I like to call the transport version of Christianity, and the second is what I call the transformation version uh, of this same uh, Christianity and the idea of sainthood. The goal of either version is to be united with God. The transport version, uh, one would say, you then think of Christianity as moving as a journey from one place to another. You might even want to call it a geographical metaphorically so of course a geographical point of view from here to heaven to be with God and the saints who have made it through that same journey and so we talk about going to heaven a genuine and solid version the second version is that of transformation the being changed version of Christianity which is probably even more solid and 
deeper and more important. What this version says is, we cannot move from here to there without being changed. And so the two versions actually go hand in hand to a large degree. That is, we cannot hope to make it to heaven without being somehow remade in something that makes heaven heaven. We cannot make this journey and this hope of Christianity without being transformed. Yes, Sammy will still look like Sammy, but so deeply transformed. So to hope for heaven entails a readiness to be changed, a readiness to be sainted, to become something of a saint. Still recognizably human, but a little bit more sainted. And that process of change starts here, as it were. It starts here way before we get to over there. Are we still together? That process starts here. In other words, if you wish for or hope for heaven, that hope entails a bit of heaven catching up with you before you even finish that journey. Changed so that we may journey. And that happens now. Hope for heaven, which is a very point of Christianity, entails a little bit of heaven being injected into us every step of the way so that we are transformed. And so we get to all these things that we talk about. Now the church in their wisdom has identified individuals in whom we have seen these things in. And we've seen these things in them before they could die in the flesh. People in whose lives we've seen aspects of heaven come down on earth and live among us. People who make us realize that when we pray, your kingdom come, God does indeed answer that prayer. It's not only going somewhere, it is about us being transformed into something different. And so we've seen this in their works of justice, some of them in miraculous works, some of them in works of charity, some of them in works of evangelizing, some of them in, in all sorts of ways. Just God's love, God's peace of heaven living in them. God's peace of heaven transforming them in this life. And so the church would say, we've seen this obviously in them, and so we give them that title. And we celebrate All Saints Day because the church again uh, has this life of giving different dates to different saints, so that different saints' days. But there are so many saints, the calendar is not enough to have a day for each one of them. In some churches, you have a day of saints, so and so coinciding with another saint, etc., etc. In other churches, like ours, we prefer to have one saint a day, and then on All Souls Day, we gather them all. But the point that I'm trying to make is that time is not enough to recognize how much of heaven has been given to us through fellow Christians who've lived down here on earth. But God's grace has granted us so much a peace of holiness in people that we recognize in this life. But eternity has poured itself into time through people who, while wanting to go to heaven, they've allowed so much heaven in their lives. And the next point will be this one. We too are called to join them. And that is why on All Souls Day, we talked or we prayed that our faithful departed may be with the saints where they are. But it starts here. It starts with us opening ourselves those a good dose of heaven, opening ourselves to having that prayer, your kingdom come, believing that it can happen in my life and your life, and those around us seeing the peace of heaven through us. Of course, the vendors way God donated, if you want to put it that way, the kingdom and heaven to us was through Christ. We say at the full measure of it, and so we as Christians 
know that the only way to have that huge piece of heaven, a little bit of it, showing in my life, is by being one with Christ, being in Christ, and Christ being in you. So, friends, you are called to be those sorts of saints who, as we come up to the Eucharist, remember that prayer, that prayer of humble access, so that we may be in you and you in us. That is a prayer to be bit by bit sainted, to be changed even as we are on a journey. So, friends, there's nothing like going to heaven without being changed. Forget it if you thought that was it. It's not like catching a taxi and you're not transformed. The journey of heaven is that by the time you get there on that taxi, you're a little bit of a taxi yourself. <laughs> Change as you go through that journey. And the journey itself has been witnessed in countless saints. And you are called to join them on that journey. So that in the last, you may join them and they unite in total union with God. Sharing the stories of how God has worked through each one of us to make heaven a little bit of a reality, even on this side. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you have taught us to pray and to give thanks for all people. Receive our prayers for the universal church that it may know the power of your spirit and that all your children may agree in the truth of your holy word and live in unity and godly love. We pray for your servant, Steve, our bishop, together with Tabo, our metropolitan, and for all other ministers of your word and sacraments, that by their life and teaching, your glory may be revealed and all nations drawn to you. Guide and prosper, we pray, those who strive for the spread of your gospel and enlighten with your spirit all places of work, learning, and healing. We pray for those who have authority and responsibility among the nations, that ruling with wisdom and justice, they may promote peace and well-being in the world. To this congregation and to all your people in their different callings, give your heavenly grace, that we may hear your holy word with reverent and obedient hearts and serve you truly all the days of our life. In your compassion, Father, comfort and heal those who are in trouble, sorrow, need, or sickness. We praise and thank you for all your saints, for the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of Jesus Christ, our Lord, and for the heroes of the faith in every generation. And we remember before you your servants who have died, praying that we may enter with them into the fullness of your unending joy. Grant this, Holy Father, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen.
praised God and said, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among people with whom he is pleased. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. the cup of salvation. Blessed Blessed be God God forever. The Lord be with you and and also also with you. Lift up your hearts. We We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and indeed our duty and joy, Lord and Heavenly Father, God Almighty and Eternal, always and everywhere to give thanks through Jesus Christ your only Son, 
our Lord. And now we give you thanks because in coming to dwell among us as the Word made flesh, he revealed the radiance of your glory and brought us out of darkness into your own marvelous light. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we acclaim you and declare the greatness of your glory. We praise you now and forever, saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Requeta te camoro a cabo creste morena warena, caena a movela nielo y arena y arita bobo de teto. Urumera moeva cabo mujeto a bodimo arena, lo bodimo a dimpoche, chamo a bebe de vine, por el tibia morena, mini wagawe, de madi a ma. Cuando cabo chivo via y filo con camiona, uchero mojobe, ya no cobago de boba, a bumata, a boniela, a bruto a bacabare, chian se lige. Se ke melewaka o ni elu chokolina, dirang se hokucho miyak. Kamu kwa ubi alo, murak basila lelo uche risi nwelo, yaro kubago laboga, haba niyala sonare, nwela kusona kamu kakalena. Uwani seki madi ya kafa na nwemcha, achu lechukule na alewa wanchi kawa kalate wale lewa gili. Kame kwa kele senwa, diran se, koku jomi yaka. Now we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Tajumukhetwa <laughs> Nya <laughs> Kili koko loche na lefase lilo kodimoko ya kame mwaka kamuka Biale li kamusa peleko Amen As Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name Your kingdom come your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The bread which we break, is it not a sharing of the body of Christ? We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Father of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. 
Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, blessed are those who are called to his supper. Draw near and receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you. Feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, refresh me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from you. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, Call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you for ever and ever. Amen.
unto the Lord, for he is gracious. His mercy endures forever. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for feeding us in these holy mysteries with the body and blood of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and for keeping us by your grace in the body of your Son, the company of all faithful people. Help us to persevere as living members of that holy fellowship and to grow in love and obedience according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.